Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We are on the letter K and that is all about keywords. We're going to look at keywords. Now keywords are really helpful when you are looking for files, you're looking for content and you want to filter by keywords. It means that it's kind of almost like a search. You can go ahead and filter and see all of your header files, all of your social media icons, whatever it might be. Okay, so if I go ahead and I upload a file, so I can browse out for where my file might be and I can select a file. Now, when I select that file, I can go ahead and I can click to add a keyword. Now I can add a keyword that might already exist, or I can go ahead and I can click and add a new keyword record. And I can go ahead and give it a name. So I might call this social media icons, save and close. And there we've got it, we've got it selected and we can go ahead and add that. And then I can just upload the icon. And once it's done, then I can go ahead and save it. Now, if I've got additional ones, I can go ahead, I can upload in bulk. So if I go to my folder where I have them all, I can select as many as I need to and just go ahead and drag those over. And again, I can go ahead and then just add the keyword for each one or I can do it in mass and I can just go ahead and select that and they've all been put on there. So then I'm uploading and I'm putting all of those in there and they've all been tagged with that social media icons keyword. Now, if I go into the keyword section, we can see there that we've got the active keywords that we've got set up. There's the social media icons one that I've created. Um, there isn't anything there of any excitement, so there's not really a whole lot to look at, but to add it, it's really simple. So I can just come in here and I can go ahead and put in new keywords. So I might say that this is for our spring campaign and maybe I'm going to add in some, some new images that are tied to a specific campaign. I can then do that when I'm adding my files. If I've got files that already exist and maybe I haven't actually set a keyword on them yet, I could go ahead and I could actually, um, click on one and then go ahead and click edit. And then over here on the right hand side, I've got the keyword section and I can go ahead and add an existing keyword and I can say, okay, this is social media icons and then it will link it. And then finally, if I want to go ahead and filter, I can do filter by keyword and then I can look through all of my keywords and I can say I want to filter by header images. When I do that, I'm only left with those images that have that specific filtered keyword. What I can also do is if it, I am in my marketing emails area and let's say that I am on one of my marketing emails and if I want to add in some kind of image block, I could go ahead and I could drag over and then when I'm looking for my image, I can browse the library. And again, I can use that filter by keywords and I can say only show me my header images and then I can pick the correct one. So using those keywords is really helpful to be able to filter and search through those images and be able to find things quickly when I've got my files uploaded. Uh, so make sure that you're taking advantage of those and using your keywords. So again, K is for keywords. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.